So I went indoors to get myself a sandwich, so I could eat a sandwich whilst watching um, Damien putting his uh, Subaru engine back in. And I got some more mail in Canada. And uh, another, another one I've been looking forward to getting. Get it opened. Mary's done the weekly shopping, grocery shopping today, and um, she normally brings me back a pie, but she said I've, uh, so I'm getting too fat, so I'm not adding any more pies. Look at that. From our mate uh, Dave over in Canada, Chef Tush, thank you very much, sir. Really awesome sticker. So I'm going to stick you up with um, with uh, Ruben's one today. Um, I was a bit conscious when I was in there. I didn't uh, didn't tell everybody what you lot did, what you guys did, and um, so sorry about that. Actually, I'll just turn uh, Damien down a little bit. Kicking ass, I tell you, kicking ass. So we'll stick uh, Chef Tusha. Cracking sticker. Anyway, um, so sorry about that. So we've got um, today. We had uh, Reuben and oh, Yahuben 66 and Chef Tush. Uh, Reuben is um, um, a virgin car restorer, but he's learning very quick. He's um, he's uh, knocking down all of his uh, walls of fear. Um, and, and getting things done and he's learning as he's going he's doing a great job of learning the guys on the YouTube garage are um, giving him advice and, um, and he's he's taking it using it and um, and uh, just getting on with it he's doing a great job he's got his uh, his dad's coming around every now and again to help him as well so that's cool and um, well David is turning out to be a bit of a metal master um, He's got a TR3A, I think. Dave, sorry if I've got that wrong. I should get that right, being a Triumph man myself. But he's uh, he's got um, actually he's got several Triumphs <coughs> that are really really cool. TR6, I'm really jealous of those. Six TR6 and a uh, TR250, um, which I guess is the American version of a TR6. Um, and um, he's getting really stuck into a to the uh, the TR3. A and um, doing a bloody good job of it as well, if I if I don't mind me saying, um, with the metal work and the, and um, getting the panel straight because he's uh, he's had several um, damaged areas on it and he's uh, and he's really showing it who's boss. So yeah, so that's my newer newer uh, arrival. So thank you guys for sending me the uh, stickers. I really love getting the stickers. It um, makes all the difference to it. it, makes me uh, proud to be part of it. So thanks guys. Better get back to Damien. Sorry Damien. So, whilst I'm doing my little clean up, ready for um, its wash. Can you see that there? <clears throat> it's a little bit more right, evidence of uh, bodgery. That there is um, a bit of red paint big dob of red paint that uh, was sat behind the, one of the main shelves well it's got a thickness to it paint so I don't know you just can't um, you can't put these stuff together engines together without getting them clean they've got to be dead clean um, I'm using a bit of uh, green Scott I've, I've uh, basically got all the gasket off and um, just using a bit of green scotch bright just to with some um, WD-40 on it just to clean up the journals so that I know that they're clean and so they've got to be clean 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 there ain't no point putting stuff like this together with paint and crap because you've already seen this morning that uh, oh, it's tough um, that um, you know, we're talking thousands of an inch here you know you can't um, 
you can't leave paint in there. Well, there's just no point having things measured and and uh, accurate. You just well chuck it together with a big handful of sand at the end of the day. And uh, some of that paint that they'd they got in the uh, see there, just about ready to fall on into the sump. More paint. Uh, if anybody caught, caught uh, VW Darren's video where he's preparing his um, Chevy motor for paint, well, that's uh, that's what you would call the uh, textbook way of uh, painting an engine. As far as I'm concerned, you uh, you've got to get it masked off. All the oil ways and anywhere that's um, supposed to be taking oil needs to be needs to be uh, taped off and masked off. Shouldn't be anything inside there except for oil. Shouldn't be big flakes of paint floating around in there and, um, and crap and crud because you just, you know, some of you guys spend thousands and ten thousands, well, tens of thousands of pounds on these engines putting together. And uh, more paint there, look. It's just, um, you just will not bother. You just will, you know, if you're going to do it like that, you just will uh, take the filler cap off and chuck a load of sand in there, as far as I'm concerned, because it's. Um, waste of time. Clean, clean, clean. Clean. And a bit more clean. Anyway, that's my whinge over. Just bothers me that um, people get up with this sort of stupidity, to be honest. Unless it's they just don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm being hard on them. But if they don't know, they don't know, I guess. But, um, you know, having to work, work out um, these dents because... Uh, They've hammered a chisel into it. To be honest, you know, it's just a bit silly, really. You know, it's um, everything's there to help him. Didn't need to do it. Just a nice, very lightly lifted off with a with a screwdriver. That's all it took. No great shakes. Anyway, so yeah, so that's uh, I'll get that um, finish cleaning that off. The worst of the gaskets and stuff, and then um, be ready for a wash on Monday. And ready for uh, reassembly. See you guys. I wish I'd have thought about doing this earlier. I've been watching some great videos. Um, there's Viper Mech putting an engine in a Chevy, transverse engine. Um, just want to show you uh, earlier on um, in the video, I talked about um, countersinking or chamfering off the uh, top thread on, uh, on the block. Um, just want to show you why I do it. There's um, it's a good example here. There's, uh, can you see that top thread there? Let's find some <coughs> pointy. Can you see that top thread there? It's, uh, it's about ready to break out. It's uh, cracked around there, so. Of course, that, uh, yeah, there you go, there's a bit of the thread coming off. Usually, um, usually happens with, uh, just through over tightening. If I run my little file across it, I always do this to every hole. If I'm, if I have the gasket off, I can't stand putting an engine together or putting something together, and I'd hate the thought of having to pull it back out to, to cure a leak. So I do this all the time, just very quickly with a small, very fine file, little needle file. Just, um, you can see it's very high there. And it's been, it's been uh, over tightened basically and pulled, pulled the top threads. So for the sake of 15 seconds with a little file, just take the face off. I don't know if there's any more like it. Another one here. You can feel it under the file that it's sharp. Well, maybe it's a bit anal, I don't know, but um, I like to be able to put something together and it stays together and you don't have to, through no fault of your own, is it if it comes out again. Does that makes sense? So I want to do everything I can to 
to make sure this motor stays in the car. I mean, it's uh, until it's ready to come out when I build the other one. But, but yeah, now I just um, basic um, uh, a simple uh, quick rub of the countersink, just just to lock that top thread in. Just take it in a, a touch on the drill, and then I know it's not going to foul up or cause any problems. I've um, got rid of the nasty paint on there on the uh, valve chest um, faces. That was thick as anything that was. How they ever get them to seal, I never know. But looking at the black oil he marked on one side, I don't think it was sealed. So anyway, let's see who's next in the in my queue. <coughs> Musty one is in the house. Literally doesn't need much, just a tiny little touch. Feel better, you know. I must be still working on his trailer. sure this motor doesn't have to come out through anything I've done or not done. So well, I'll do it. Might take a bit longer but uh, I'd really like to pull an engine out for anything I've done before so and I don't want to start now. see why it's a must that these engines get washed afterwards. Also, even despite washing it, it will need, I uh, always like to run it up with, um, with fresh oil and then uh, run it for five or ten minutes and then dump the oil out and put another fresh load in. I don't know whether that oil pump's been out before or not, but um, there's a fair bit of crud in here. It needs to come out. The core plugs or frost, frost plugs or ice plugs, whatever you want to call them, they're looking pretty good, so at least I don't have to do those. They're looking good. I'll have to check these ones out. But anyway, so we're nearly there. We're cleaning. This is going to be uh, my last moan about paint on these engines. If I try and put you there, hopefully you'll see. I'll maybe put you there. You'll see better. This um, this port here is uh, excuse me is where the pipe for the oil filter. You've got the oil filter on a housing. Sits down there. You've got a pipe that runs from the oil pump and mounts in there. 
Okay, this is an old one from something else, but just for showing you. And it's normally just uh, all there is on here is a copper o ring, copper washer. Um, everybody knows that um, with copper washers, the faces need to be dead flat, lovely flat faces. And here we have more of that lovely paint. Can you see that? I mean, how this thing ever didn't leak oil, I don't know, but it must have leaked oil like a bloody sieve. But when, um, what bothers me more than anything is when painting the, the thing in the first place, that all that oil, there's another lack of thread there, look. Um, what worries me more than anything is where that oil, that paint went into the, uh, into the um, oil galleries, you know, it's uh, crazy really, but hey ho, it's, um, you see how thick it is? I think it never have sealed, not properly, or if it did it, I mean look, it's just uh, nasty. So, you know, if you want a proper demo, watch Darren's uh, video or whatever, if you want to paint your engines, we all want to paint our engines, they look nice and smart when we've done them up but um, just don't go mad with it this is another one with it where it needs a countersink there look the threads pulling the threads pulling in there if you can make that out or not but hey ho um, a lot of guys have trouble getting uh, well let's find it while I've done with it the, um, there's an oil pressure relief valve <coughs> that sits in here um, it's just a, um, a face matching bullet and then a spring, metered spring and a cap, screws in here. Um, these are rubbish and should be changed out for ball bearings because um, this one here is uh, was sticky, was stuck in. Um, they don't need to have a barrel on them, they just need to be a ball bearing. Uh, but they, they can seize in there and you can't get them out. The, the easiest way, um, you can either, this is the uh, the port that goes to the old pressure relief valve there. You can either stick an airline down through it and blow it out. Or if you've not, uh, if you've got the engine all together and it's in the car or whatever and you need to get it out, <clears throat> you can actually, if you're very gentle, because you don't want to, uh, you don't want to expand the sides on it. But if you're, um, if you're very careful with it, you can get an easy out and just grip it enough to pull it out, or, or uh, find a, a tap that will just bite in it enough to pull it out with. But they are a bugger to get out otherwise, because they're very smooth-sided inside. There's no, um, there's nothing to grip hold off inside and they are a bugger to get out. Um, the blowing it out way only usually works if um, if it's fairly loose because uh, once it's jammed it lets the air out back down through the oil passages and doesn't let you uh, blow it out. But Anyway, this is going to be the last video of the day. I'll um, probably split them up because they're very long. But the engine's pretty much ready for a bit more clean in this side but pretty much ready for um, steam clean on Monday and um, hopefully if I win the uh, the rings on eBay I'll be able to I'll start whacking it back together all right guys catch up with you later bye bye